Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 41 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 on Honor Mode. We're playing together with Mike from Gaming for Immersion YouTube channel. Uh, he's recording in parallel for his channel. And we're playing a duo of halfling rogues. I'm Finden Fastfellow, the arcane trickster, who made it to level 5 so far. And Mike from Gaming for Immersion is Linus Leftwich, as always, uh, a halfling rogue thief. And we've made it into the Underdark in the previous episode. We went ahead and saved Balin Bonecloak, brought him, brought him back to his wife, Dereth, here, uh, who was thankful, gave us some nice uh, rewards. And yeah, in the episode before that, we defeated the Dwerga in the fishing village. So we don't... Well, yeah, we have a fair bit of Underdark left to explore. Yeah. Um, so well, we know that there's... We we know there are at least three different enemies uh, in just in this general vicinity, right? So we know the spectator is over there with all the drow statues. Oh, we yeah. know that we know that that whatever thing is burrowing around underground Oof, that yeah. we you know that's that's gone by us a few times. We know that that's available. You, you know, I, I'm yeah. assuming it might pop up and attack us at some point, although it hasn't so far. So I don't know. Maybe it's just there for decoration. And then, uh, and then we have those hook horrors that we've seen a few yeah. of them floating around. I suggest we go check out that that tree, that I don't know, tree of life or whatever it is in the underdark, because we did uh, we sort of encountered it just before we uh, took the side trip to Balin. Yeah. Uh, but maybe we finish investigating that and see and watching me. see what we find there. Well, we yeah we do. If you open up the journal here, we do have the. Uh, where is it? Finish the masterwork weapon. We found a susser tree. Now we need to take some of its bark. And of course, that is close by here on the map. So yeah. I'm going to go okay. ahead and get out of the Mykonid village and go ahead and put myself in the stealth at that point. Yep. And start okay. creeping forward. Yeah. Do we go down, do you think? Um, well, first, yeah, first of all, yeah, we have this hole here, a deep hole. That's all from that monster, I'm sure of it. So we gotta stay on rocky ground. That's what I think. Um, I to draw any attention. But yeah, sorry, you were saying what? Um, well, I was just saying, do you think we need to go down to collect the bark from the tree, or um, or not? Go down all the way. I don't know. Can't we just like chip away a piece of it? I have Can no we... idea. Can we? Actually... We're not. I mean, I mean, we're we're close to the tree right here, and yet if you look at the map, you can see the marker on the quest marker on the map is quite far away. It looks like you know it's down. Like we'd have to go down this way. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, you're you're a hook horror. Okay, there's a hook horror right here. Can you see that? Uh, oh, down on, there. On, more or less on our level. There's a hook horror right here. He just know. turned around and went back a little ways, but he's. Do you, there's no. a susser bloom, and then there's a hook horror. Oh, there's a lot of blood. That's what I see down here. So that. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Seems there's like we can blood. climb on top of the tree along its branches if we go down the, the these rocks. So we probably are gonna have to deal with these hook horrors. Yeah. It also sure looks like we can way. collect the susser bloom. Because I have a hand over it when we come close. Can we actually grab yeah. it? Maybe. Maybe. You, you want me to try it? Um, We've also got this blibber bang right here, which I'm kind of tempted to just shoot. I'm actually hesitant to shoot it because it might blow up the saucer blue. But we don't know what the saucer bloom does. Oh, we do know that it's got 22... This bright blue flower points. picked from a budding sasa tree exudes a honey sweet aroma which turns foul and eventually fades away if the bloom is exposed to sunlight okay well yeah. then why don't i just go into turn base mode and run up and grab it and then run back oh yeah yeah maybe give that a go that worked well for us last time okay so if i i'm just going to go ahead and use dash Pick, is picking it up going to take an action, do you think? Maybe I'd better start with cunning action dash. Yeah, do cunning action dash. So cu cunning action oh, wait, dash. Wait, 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 wait. The hook horror is come. It's still I walking see. around, even though we're in yeah. turn-based mode. I think now, yeah. okay, now that it's come closer, it's now in the turn-based mode as well, I think. So you can go around and grab the tree. 
Got well, the, he's not in the he's not in the turn based mode because he doesn't he's not on our he's not on top, but he but he's not moving either. He's now just okay. kind of frozen. Yeah, you're right. He is just standing there, I guess. These flowers. What is this feeling? Okay, you did grab it. You do have yeah, what, Sasa flower what? enigmatic and anti magic field on you. Oh, a Sasa tree flower is draining the character of its magical energy, preventing it from casting spells. Okay. Okay. Well. Well, that that doesn't sound great. Well, it sounds great if we could. could we th okay, you're now casting that yeah. that that field on me when you're so really close. So okay. if you jumped well, I... close to a mage, right? If you jumped close to a mage, he wouldn't be able to cast if you went into melee. Oh, with him. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. However, is this also going to stop me from casting Misty Step? Yep. Casting spells is is blocked. So I don't don't really love the idea of this hmm. maybe we hang on to it for later in the game maybe maybe send, send, send it to camp yeah. yeah that's what i was just gonna say is i could send it to camp i also have this noble stalk Ooh. restores a creature to full health and removes all conditions that negatively affect it when consumed i would i would i would keep that in your inventory in case we get some sort of quest maybe even give it to me so it's like just kind of it's just in my inventory in case we ever come i feel like you know there's gonna be some big quest or you know Someone need. Okay. We're gonna sell it for a good price, so we could use it somehow. Uh, I doubt we're okay. gonna use it on ourselves, or maybe we will. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So I just sent you a couple of scrolls, and I'm also sending you the uh, the noble stalk here. Nice. Oh, misty uh, step. Very nice. Yeah, I sent you a scroll. Misty step. That's that's from Balin's pack, by okay. the way. Okay. Thank you. All right. So so now it's probably safe to shoot that blibber bang. Yeah. You want to back up? Yep, I'm going to back up with my hand. I, I, I'm even going to back up a little bit farther here. All right. You ready? Yep. Maybe we should have baited that uh, hooked crora, horror or whatnot in it and then blew it up. Too late for that now. Though. Too late. Too late for that. And... Yeah, I mean, I, I get your point, but I'm also terrified of these things. Although there, there's one left, there's one blubber bang left. So if you want oh. to leave that there as bait, or you know, nah, as nah. like a... just shoot it now. Fine. So how many of these horrors did you count? So there's one that's walking uh, I, about I, with sword. I, but yeah, the one that was almost uh, close to us when I went into turn-based mode. There's that one, and then there's another one right over here on the tree. On the oh on the tree okay now I see it he's, okay, nice. he's yeah. on the tree okay he's very close to another one of those susser blooms Dude, that guy could like jump in our face like, I wouldn't put it past him you think they can jump I didn't even really think about that no yeah they're not close enough to be able to do an examine yeah which is okay the not the noxious fumes have just cleared out okay Let me go ahead and grab to be honest sword. we're in broad daylight so uh we're not actually hiding from anything because this okay, tree is casting he's a lot he's, of light. He's, come, he's coming back up this way. Okay. Or his vision. Yeah, he, he's coming yeah. back up this way. Examining him. Level 4, AC 15, only 10 dexterity, 6 intelligence, 7 charisma. He's blind sight. This creature can perceive its surroundings without relying on sight. Okay, there's no point in hiding then. Dark vision, multi-attack prone. The hook horror can make a multi-attack if the target is prone. Nothing else. 97 okay. HP. Jesus. All right. Well, I think I think the thing to do is to uh, to to shoot him. Yeah. Get it, see, see if we get catch him by surprise and see if it also pulls. Well, how many of them it pulls in? I'm going to assume it's going to pull the other one in to combat right away as well. The one on the branch. Yes, it will be two the, of the, them. The, yeah. Plus potentially one more down at the bottom. So three. Potentially, okay. there could be three more down at the bottom. For all I know. Yeah. Can we pull off one... a sneak attack out of light, I mean, the... or do I need to but... move my hand somewhere there? Uh, I think I should be able to do a sneak attack, but uh, I'm tempted to put it into turn-based mode here when he gets to a point where I can shoot him. Um, also, will... okay, yeah, I mean, it's a good idea. Do you think he will sense my hand, even if it's invisible or not? Um, that is a great question. I really do not know. However, here's what I was going to say is we're if we initiate the combat from right here, I know you don't like to do this, but I believe that we're rogues and running away is always going to be an option for us. 
if we find out that you know this looks like it's going south very quickly we can always just you know run and get away whereas yeah, that's no. not that's not possible if we if you know if we start the combat from further on down in there. yeah yeah no I, I i don't like it when we intend that from the start but yeah in terms of things going south i'm totally fine with yeah I'm, well i mean away. we're we're a pair of halfling rogues there's going to be you know situations that we get into that are we're going to be in trouble you know yeah, it's just agree. something that's going to happen all right so anyway okay. in terms of resistances do they have any they have no resistances all right, I'm... Okay, hang on. Sneak attack, I let's can't do have... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? Path. It says I have, I have disadvantage against target. Path interrupted, first of all, for me, even. I mean, I could come, yeah, a little bit closer. Hang on, hang on. Just don't shoot. We need to shoot on a countdown. I think. Yep, I got 99% no, on him. Yeah, no, we're in turn-based mode. I don't think we do need to shoot on a countdown. No, but then it will start combat and like reshuffle everything, no? Oh, he's considered outside my normal range, that's why. How was that? Okay, okay. Uh, now, now he's within my range. All right, yeah, we can do it on a countdown, see how this works. I'm not gonna use a magic arrow at this point. Yeah, no, I don't think, yeah, I'm kind of running low to be honest. Yeah, let's see what happens. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. We could push him down. We could do an arrow of thunder. He's right next to the edge. I feel well, like. Well, I don't want to do it in the first turn in case we have surprise. I want him to be close enough to shoot him again on the second turn. That's true. But we could, like, kill him. Hang on. If we examine, what's his strength is 18, actually. How far you can jump, how much you can carry. It's strength that determines whether you can be shoved, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fine. Let's just do two sneak attacks. Okay, you want to do a three, two, one, and then and then yeah. we'll both fire. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, he is surprised, and it's just the one. Nice. I'm gonna move right. my hand next to him so that we don't even need to sneak about. He doesn't detect it. Okay, it is actually in invisible. Okay. No choice but to keep going. Another sneak attack. Yeah, this is unusual. Because I moved my hand next to it. But I've already done a sneak Oh, I did, did... Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't know. I would have assumed I already did a sneak attack this turn. Well, I'll take it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, why? Wait, hang on. Was your first shot a sneak attack or not? We gotta... Yes. Yes, it was. Offhand attack range. No, wait. Sneak. So, Find and Fastfellow, sneak attack ranged. Linus left, which sneak attack ranged. Yeah. Can I get another sneak uh, attack, please? Game? Well, no. You don't have an, off, an offhand <laughs> attack. However, we're. I mean, we should be able to get. Both of us should be able to get a sneak attack off next, next turn, turn yeah. And, yeah. and kill it. Yeah. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and end my turn. Yeah, we don't need to move any closer, do we? No, I don't think so. I think we got this. Yeah, I think we got this. There we are. All right. Yeah. That's my sneak attack. You can take the glory. You don't need to be hidden because my hand is there. Uh, uh, it increases my chance to hit ah. though. Is that true for me as well? I think so. All right. It went from 80% to 96% for me. Okay. Okay, So and you can see the other one over there, right? It doesn't yeah. have any idea that we just killed his, his buddy there. Yeah. Well, hang on. Can I reach him from here? Uh, target is too far. Okay, no, I cannot. Yeah, he's just way too far, apparently. Okay, the hook whore here has a hook. This is an alchemical ingredient. I'm going to send it to you. Okay. okay. And as far as we can tell, there's, there's only the one other one. I don't see any others walking well, around right now. I think when we we did approach this from the other side, there is at least one or two all the way down there. Time like, goes ahead. I'm actually, wait, why don't we start scouting with my hand? It's invisible. It's exactly what it's made for. Okay, works for me. Okay, there's one more here. Do you see it? 
Uh, hang on. I do oh. not. Is that oh. a? Is that a? There's a. There's a uh, waypoint right there. An ancient si sigil circle. Is and there? your hand just went by. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but I think if you can click on my hand, you can you follow it with the camera? Yeah, there's at least oh. one more in close proximity here. That, I mean, I'm not gonna go all the way. Wait, yeah, hang on. Yeah, it's, it does. Oh. It doesn't really let me do that. I can't really click on your. Wait, hand. here's the filler of the forgotten. There is a drow here, and there is another one on the steps here. Do you see where my hand is? I I, I do. Yeah. There's actually like steps going up, I, and there's another hooked horror there. Okay, I don't see them, but I know exactly where you're talking about. And there, it seems like a mage, Lothworn Drow. Uh, yeah, level 5, by the way. Okay. No special okay. abilities or anything. Intelligence 17. So, yeah, this guy is definitely a mage. Yeah. 41 HP, though. I, I, so. I, I was just gonna, I was just gonna ask how many hit points. So, we yeah. definitely want to get sneak attacks off on him. Yeah. And, and clear him out. Yeah. Right away. If we can get this guy that's on the branches. If we well, can he get doesn't seem to really be moving in this direction at all. So I think I can safely move down here. Yeah, I think we're safe it, up to up to around here. Yeah, get a little bit closer here. Maybe I'll be able to start seeing what your hand can see. There we go. I discovered the waypoint. And yes, I can see the hook horror. But I don't see the drow just yet. Better make my next Let me move. risk getting a little closer, I suppose. Oh, it, but, but there's a moving vision cone there. Yeah, yeah, so that's the second hooked horror. So there's three of them now. One on the branch, one that's moving, and one that's guarding the drow. The drow is there. Yeah. I think okay, we need so to get on this branch, kill this guy. At least we have the high ground then on the drow and all other hooked horrors. I want to see if I can get close enough to find out if this drow is red or yellow. Um, he's red, I think. Wait, hang is on. he red? He, I can tell red? you that with my hand, to be safe. Also, I can do a minor illusion. Yeah, he's... Hang on. He is I, I red. He's still... red. He's red. Okay. I, okay. We can do a minor illusion and draw this guy, uh, you know, down from the, from the branch. Although he senses things, he doesn't actually see things. But it's worth a shot. It, it, yeah, it, it might work. It's only it's only a cantrip, so you can Light on my feet. try it, and if it doesn't work, it's not a big deal, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me perhaps try that then. I will keep my hand here. Maybe I should stay. Crouched. The other thing is we could always, you know, try to lead them through a, tr a choke point, and where we would have a trap or something set up. Okay, let me try. This. This guy just doesn't care. Either Maybe. because he's on the wrong height level. Yeah. Could, mm. could be the case. Could be the case. Can we... Hmm. How else can we get up to him? Yeah, we can't pass a check. He will see us because it will be in direct light. Uh, ab ab absolutely, there's no way to get up there without him seeing us. We, I can get this far before I'm entering his vision cone, and then that's not going to be nearly close enough for me to shoot him. Hmm. How do we solve this then? Do we attack the one that's patrolling down there? But if we get like so deep into their territory, I'm afraid all yeah. three of them plus the drow are going to yeah, that's... turn on us. That's my concern as well. Um... Can, can we sneak to the drow? And just take him out with sneak attacks, and then take on the hope. Well, horror. we we can we can sneak to the bottom of the rocky steps there, but I doubt if we're going to have even a a line of sight on him. Yeah. No, from, but I, from from the bottom yeah. of the steps there, and uh, I'm I would definitely not be close enough to. But we can go up the steps have... without hitting his vision cone. So we can actually go up the steps like he, for example, the drow is now facing away. So we could get right next to this uh, hooked horror. Yeah. Well, however, it says it's blind sighted anyway. This creature can perceive its surroundings without relying on sight. So I think we will trigger, like it will become aware of us when we sneak close to it. Oh, it's actually eating on a half eaten gnome. Okay. That was the that was the battle. But yeah, I think these hooked horrors we can't sneak right right next to them. So we're gonna have to take this as a difficult fight. 
I think. Well, d yeah, d definitely. I mean, we could we could use hit and run tactics. We yeah, we could, could kite them back here, right? So that we we uh, you know kite yeah, them I mean, back to the to the steps, so that we have the high ground rather than them. Exactly. And also, we probably can do this where we get a surprise round on them. That's true. So we have, I think, a reasonably good chance of being able to maybe kill the Kukor there that's chewing on the gnome. And then immediately running back and getting back up here. Yeah. I mean, I do have, I'm low ground, so I'm 75% to hit that guy. Can we even hit the guy on the branch? Oh man, this Baldur's Gate 3 camera. Yeah, the camera is kind of not, not real not real conducive to 360 degree fighting. Yeah, well, yeah, or someone sitting just a little bit at the high ground. I mean, no, I mean, I guess we can't shoot him. Um, yeah, I guess we have to open up with the guy next to the drow. Is there anywhere so we can? Got, yeah, that, is there that any, guy right there. Yeah, can we assassinate the drow somehow? Should we at least try sneaking across these steps to take out the drow? Because I really want to take out the mage. I feel he's going to be the problem. He's going to start healing, summoning, like hitting us with some massive fireballs. I'm sure. Well, of it. I, I, yeah, I mean, I can try it, and and you can be prepared to resurrect me back at uh, with the uh, withers if. Uh, yeah, I guess you because you get a, you get a sneak attack plus two like one or two bonus. Yeah, you must kill him. Forty HP. You'll do forty HP damage, right? If I get a surprise round, then I've got a good chance of killing him. Yeah, perhaps you try to sneak in and initiate. I'll stay as far behind, well, as close behind you as I can before you trigger. Okay, before I, I'm going to wait for him to, to look back this yeah. way and then turn around again before I go up, up those yeah, steps. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's looking away now. I know he's looking away now, but I think he's been looking away there for oh, okay. a while. So I want to wait for him to start okay. start the round. If you did a potion of invisibility or something, you could actually definitely sneak up right in his face because my hand does not get revealed. Yeah, well, I still don't want to walk within the vision cone of those hook whores, though, because they don't require sight. They would uh, yeah. probably detect me. But if okay, you had... They're, if they're you had if, yeah, he's moving. If you had invisibility, he would not detect you because he's not detecting my hand. So you could get right yeah. up to here. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, I'm. I don't think I need invisibility to go along the exact same path that your hand took. Yeah. My, what I'm saying is, if you got in your hand, with, well, yeah. If your hand went, oops. If your hand went into the, vi, went into the vision cone, of one of the hook horrors right now, it might see you. Oh, you think so? Okay. okay. Oh, okay. you think? I don't. I. I I don't. I don't know. I don't. Gotcha. Know. Yeah. That, okay. Go. But, go. Okay. Go. So I'm. Yeah. I'm going up there. Okay. I'm sticking with you as closely as I can. Okay. From here, I'm gonna put. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. There we are. So. We're both. All right. Out this of, is. Th this is. Fa not Finden we, Fastfellow was spotted by Filler or the Forgotten in a lightly obscured area. Oh, because he turned around. Or why? How was I spotted by him? Yeah. I guess he did turn around. Oh. Sun, yeah, okay. Well, that's yikes. Okay, so we've won the initiative here, but we don't have surprise on them. We haven't triggered any any of them apart from these two. So we need to take two of these out ASAP. Um, I have my hand, so if it comes close to the drow, we now have sneak attacks on Where it. Where do I go from here? You well, are... I'm actually I'm actually threatened, threatened. right now by the hook horror. Okay. So if we we got two choices, we can back up. I have 95% on him, so I could hit him hard. And then you could, even while being threatened, you could disengage and finish him. I, I, could, I can indeed, yeah. Let okay. me get a sneak attack on him, right? I have 95%. Okay, I was just going to say, are you going to use a magic arrow? Nah, nah, we're fine. 20 HP, yeah. You, you should be able to... What's your percentage to hit? Uh, well, right now it's eighty-one percent, but I have disadvantage because I'm I'm threatened by that hook uh, So let me cunning action disengage here. Do it. 
And I'm gonna run over to here. Shoot and him. then I'm and then I'm gonna shoot him from over there. Do it. I don't know if it's better to melee. I will probably close in with this hook horror because I have uh, offhand, and I will maybe flourish him to throw him off balance, or maybe just offhand him. I'll just offhand I mean, him. I, I mean, I, I probably, I probably can shoot him from right here, from right here. Yeah. Whatever. All right. You're Not ninety percent. Sneak so attack, here's, right? Yeah, 90% with a sneak attack. Is it worth my going into stealth in order to make no. sure? Well, it's still not a guarantee that I would that I would hit anyway, but there's a 1 in 10, ten chance that I miss right here. It's fine. You got this. Down he goes, and you can talk to him. Drow down. Okay, I'm going to close in on this hook horror and just hit him with my offhand. Um, if the worst happens, I will disengage next turn. Oh, I missed. Well, I'm glad I missed that on that shot instead of the other one. Okay, and I'm going to come back here. Oh. Nice. I'm going to come back here where I should have a decent chance of being able to hide oh. if necessary. Oh, he's ruptured. All right. One to four piercing damage when moving. Oh. Okay, so I'm supposed well, to, like, hit him and run away? I mean, I can only do this in melee. Okay, well... Yeah, you could disengage maybe if you wanted to, but... I mean, one, one to four is not going to kill a dull him. Moment. Yeah. So... Alright, I'm ready to end my turn, I guess. Wait a minute, melee. I just want to make... Want to make sure that my... Yeah, okay, so my uncanny dodge is turned to one. Yeah, mine okay. is as well. Okay, let's end our turns. Echoes in the dark. Echoes in the dark. Oh, That's not calling reinforcements. Ooh. That is. We're attracting too much attention. Okay, let's take this guy out ASAP. Okay, I'm gonna have to sneak attack up in his face. I'm going to actually piercing strike this guy. I think. I think we're gonna have to take a long rest after this. No, fine. I'll just sneak attack him. Okay, let me sneak attack him. Oh, 80% miss. Oh, 80% and I missed. Deary me. Okay. Well, that's how it is sometimes. This creature's allies will appear next turn to defend it. Okay, will they appear? New ones? Or is it... I, uh... I have no idea. Okay, well, we have potions of invisibility if the worst comes to worst. So let's just go ahead and stay here. I'll protect this high ground so no one can climb up. And I'll just try to dodge as best I can. All right, well, I guess we're, we're going to find out. Yep. Okay. Whether, ending, um... Ending my turn. Yeah, what exactly happens next turn? We'll see. I'm feeling confident. Ooh, nice one. Nine damage you do. Jeez. So with that ring, you just did two on top yeah. of seven. So that's another 30% extra damage. Keep I would hitting. have felt a lot better about this if we had had a surprise round. That's for sure. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Not a lot of damage, but I am bleeding. Okay. And they're not... There aren't any additional... Reinforcements ju just yet. Just yet, yeah. Okay. Where, where's your mage hand? Oh, mage hand is right behind him. Yeah, and by the way, uh, yeah, he, he threw me away, so I'm no longer even uh, threatened. No, am I? I am threatened. Oh, no, yeah, he does have opportunity attacks on me. Okay, I'm going to have to melee. 80% sneak attack melee. Ooh. Offhand follow-up. You bastard. Down to 10. One for the tavern tails. Finden. Up close and personal. Oh. Covering fire from Linus saves the day. Oh, I'm bleeding. Still. Okay. okay. Yeah, you may want to hide as well. Okay, you are good. I'm just going to pop a All right. minor potion for 7 HP. Yeah, that, that could have gone much, much worse. Actually, no, I, I'll save my potion. Oh, no, I'll just pop it. 
We right? got plenty of potions. I have 22, yeah. And nothing in the pouch. Nice. Um, okay, shall, I, shall we just finish the combats first before I actually talk to this guy? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Will you do me a favor and save the game? I just get really... <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just because, you know, sometimes games crash. Yeah. After every, like, really difficult fight, it's instinctive for me to just want to save yeah. the game. Okay, so now this is good. We have we have captured the high ground over here. Yeah. We should be in good shape to surprise attack the two remaining ones. Yeah. I suggest we open up on the one below because we I have agree. high ground, right? We... I mean, I'm actually, I'm yep. going to send my hand to kind of be in his area. I mean, it's not in combat anyway, so you can just move around wherever it wants. All right, and then... Let's not yeah. get caught off guard. Okay, he's going to be outside my normal range, and there's not really anything he's gonna, I can... No, he's going to come back right it. below you, so... Oh, 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 oh! oh. Yep. Okay, spotted. Okay, that, that's that fine. That is clearly... That's on me. That's No, can, well, that's can fine. You, can, yeah, can your mage hand get down there? Yep, yep, yep. He's next to him. I I'm actually not in combat yet. Okay, I can't do a sneak attack from here. Mm -hmm. Because I have disadvantage on him because he's too far away. Still don't really understand. Yeah, it's I could have sworn I have, I have done sneak attacks on things that are outside my normal range before, but... Anyway... I'm tempted to, like, fall back. You can actually go down the vines. Did you see the knotted roots here? I, I, I did indeed. I don't really want to run down towards him, though. Um, you'll, I mean, you'll I get guess a sneak I could. attack. And you have plenty yeah, okay. of AC. Yeah, I, I, I could. I was actually thinking of kiting him back up this way so that you would get a good sneak attack on him, but... I can go down there and close, close I can, in on him. If... I can come up and... Sh well, if I just come up now and fire at him, I might trigger a surprise round, no? No, I doubt. Not not now that he's already in now combat. Now that he's already in combat, yeah. Uh, that, that That's that's my guess. But All right, so I'll go down to his level. And... Uh, see if I can get close enough here for a sneak attack. See if I can get close enough. Yeah, I have 70, a sneak attack on him. I'm only at 70%, unfortunately. I'm at 99. So we'll hear. He's gonna, probably going to call for reinforcements as well next turn. Pro right. Probably, yeah. Okay. I'm also in combat now. So okay. That's... Now, I have enough movement that I can go back Swift up my feet the knotted roots. Uh, do it. Or, or, your, I let, could, or, or I could stay down here and melee him. Let's get out of his sight, no? Like, if we're just out of his sight, I'm not sure what he's going to do. Could just do kind well, of nothing. Actually, I still have two bonus actions. So I could shoot him once more, back up just out of his vision range. Get back up, uh, up the vines, because it, it, even if he, like, spits something or throws something, okay. he'll, he'll, he'll be at a massive disadvantage. So I would just, yeah, let him have it. Yes, that's okay. I, I don't mind missing on the uh, the offhand attacks every once in a while. Thank goodness for Long Strider. That's all I can say. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna hide just in case and end my turn. Yeah, I actually am gonna stand right here on the well. Do I want him to be able to see me? No, I should probably back up from the edge. No, so back that, up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe there's a chance he... He might he dash to go all the way around, or he might just call yeah. for reinforcements. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. as far as I'm going to be able to go. That's fine. All right, let's see uh, See what he does. That goes in the dark. Little did he know that his buddies are already dead. Well, there's there's one right above him, who yeah. doesn't seem interested. Yeah. He okay. okay. All right, and he's he's at uh, 49. Okay, let me move 26. back down again. He's down to 26. All right, let me. 70 percent. Fingers crossed. This is the one that matters. Oh, oh come on. Give it. Give him the offhand. Boom. 
Nice one. Nice okay, one, Linus. We're yeah, we're down to just one now. Yep. It's kind of nice that they waste that first turn calling for reinforcements. Yeah, a bit lame that uh, no one actually came. They seem to be deaf or something. Or completely indifferent to their body buddies. Okay. Now here we've got another Susser Bloom. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and send this one to camp as well. Yeah. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Was that you or me who just said you. I'm done? I can't that, wait to sleep. That was you. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna send this to camp. We have two of those now at our camp. All right. Looks to me like he's just standing still, so I should be able to get relatively close here. And yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm, that's outside of my normal range, yeah. I have a yep. 91. I'm in range. Me, you want to do the 3 2 1 countdown? Let's do it. 3 go for 2 it. 1 go. Oh, critical hit. Who's got the crit? Who's got the crit? Find and fast fell. No. Linus left which was hit for 41 piercing damage. Oh, nice one, man. You guys having a bad day. Shall we close in? Oh my god. Man, you're dealing like massive damage. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing all right. Okay, plus we have some surprise round on him here, yeah. so I'm just going to go ahead and... Yeah, just... And just finish this off here. Yeah, that's it. Hey man, you stole my kill. Just secured it. You know, it was close. Fair, fair, fair <laughs> enough. There's another. There's another susser bloom over there if you want it. Yeah, I'll grab it. The susser tree bark here. What is oh. This feeling? Oh. Okay. There we go. That's good. Yeah. Susser bloom. Send to camp. Uh, yeah. Susser bark. Yeah, let's see what happens to the quest log now. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Now we now need really to head good? head back to the forge, so we need to go back no to traps, uh, please. to the Bladed Village, I guess, for that. Yeah. Okay, let's deal with the drow. We can just survey the rest of this area as well later. Man, they really oh, there's another Susser Bloom down here. I'm gonna grab it. Might be useful. I kind of forget what kind of weapons that I really hope they we get like a crossbow or a short sword. Okay. By the way, uh, the drow here has got a note on him that I'm going to read out loud. Do it. Scattered notes are crawl are scrawled by a chaotic hand. Protector, guardian of the adamantine forge, from magma rose only in magma destroyed. Hot hammer, hot hammer. Where? A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dorn knows, and that is D H O U R N. Something's in the forge, and it's weak to this hot hammer. Did you catch that? Yes, something weak to the hot hammer. Yeah. Okay, we got three scrolls here that I'm going to send to you. We have an icy crystal. This crystal is freezing to the touch no matter how long you hold it. Shallow grooves run along the bottom as if it used to be attached to something. To me, it looks like, almost like an arrowhead. We have a potion of feather fall. If not over, then through. We have a simple robe that I'm going to leave there and a quarterstaff that I'm going to leave there. Okay. You want Scribble to notes is what you just read? Yes. Where a small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath. Down, Dorn, nose. Hammer, hold. Okay, yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah, let me chat to this guy. Who killed him? Me or you? Uh, you. You finished him off. I, I, I think I did, yeah. Yeah, we need to always remember that, to be honest, that you finished him off so that I can talk to him. Need to keep that in mind. Okay. Away. 
confused. I would never harm something as beautiful I, as I, your beloved. I think he mentioned somebody named Melinda. Have we met a Melinda in this game? No. Not that I recall. Did we kill any drow? Was he... He wasn't the acolyte that was, uh, like, growing the matriarch spider thing. Did I don't... He? I don't... You killed my so. beloved. He says, you, okay, let's do deception. You're confused. Who could we kill? Where, which drow did we kill? Not None in the underdark so far. Hmm. Okay, let me deceive him. Right, I have... Wow, I have plus six, plus seven, and one d6. Yeah. Okay. You got a pretty good chance here. I mean, I could even add a bonus from Guidance. But I need a 20, though. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get add Guidance as well. Not the best roll, but I got lucky. Ooh. Who are you? You lived among those creatures. How did you come to be here? Your notes mention a guardian. What is it? Yeah, let's ask about the guardian at the forge, right? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah. Protector of the adamantine forge. Born from hellish heat. In hellish heat. Okay, so some sort of golem. So but he's basically hot, but we need to hit him with something hot to destroy him, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay, should we ask who is he? Who he is? Sure, sure. Pharaoh, forgotten, forsaken. You lived among those creatures. How did you come to be here? The glowing tree, what is it? We kind of know it's a sasa tree, right? Yeah. How did you come to be here? Yeah, sure. Th I like that. Chasing mystery, riddle, lie. The adamantine forge. Hmm, where, where would I find this forge? Yeah. Location was Dorn's task. I learned of the Guardian. I think the beloved he mentioned must have been the body we found because someone else talked about this Adamant and Forge at first, right? It was yeah, some, it sounds some other body. I, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch some of our previous yeah. episodes. Yeah. Okay. Who is this Dorn? Right? Yeah, let's try to find him then. So this guy was studying the Guardian. Dorns was supposed to find the location. Yeah. Who is, who is Dorn? Friend. Enemy. Like Zargrim. Three seek. Adamantine forge. Mm, only one of us may. Fine. Okay. Interesting. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Well, somewhat informative. We need to find Dawn. We know about the Guardian. Uh, okay. The tattered scroll that's still lying around here. Did you read that? No, I didn't. Where is it? This one on the floor. Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't see it. An unfinished conjuration scroll marred by teeth marks and dried slobber. A few words emerge from the muddle. Skaren Ixen Svelg Magma. Magma, 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 magma. Not, huh. not, not sure. Okay. You can read it. It's in my inventory. Yeah, I just, I read it at the same time that you were. Uh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Weird one. We can both click on it. Okay. Yep. All right, well, that's not super useful, but maybe it'll make sense to us later. Yeah. Okay. I suggest we fur go further down in this little tree yeah, area. I'm going to send my hand there, actually. 
Ooh, okay, that's a good idea. Can't give What's up good? now. Wait, 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 By the way, our our uh, timer is about to go off Everyone here. Else wants okay. Business. I'll be I've got a little bit longer, but I'd rather not get into another combat. Yeah, let me go down with my hand and have a look what's around here. There's more blood. Oh, dear me. Um, don't see any more hooked horrors. I mean, who would have thought that a beautiful place like this would be the location of violence? Yeah. No, there's nothing else okay. yet. There's... All this blood? I can't waste yeah, any more time. I think we're safe to go down. And well, I'm, just... it's a good thing, because I'm already down. Move. Oh, game is saving. The game is saved probably because of, of where I just moved. There's uh, a tombstone over here. Okay. Well, I'll be right behind you. Uh, 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 this uh, 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 thing is coming. This thing is coming again. Entering turn-based tur mode. Tur turn-based mode. Are what you do you say I run? You entered it? Right? What do you mean I entered it? Did, did you click on it, or did the game put us in turn-based no, mode? Uh, oh, the, yeah, no, the game put us in turn-based mode. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up these routes to get the high yeah. ground. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm getting the high ground. And, I mean, we don't have a target yet, so it does me little good to do anything but run away probably so yeah. i'm i'm thinking running in this direction i'm getting into the shadow and hiding yeah that's probably the best i can do my hand i'm gonna bring my hand closer to where we were just in case we need it later okay no re okay fine yeah so my hands turn is over i'm up there hidden up up on the high ground so I think we're good. Okay. Um, I, I'm curious how far exactly to move away. I don't want to go too far away probably, but I want to be away from like if there's going to be a cave in or something. Well, no. So what I'm thinking is that all, all that blood, all those gnomes, all the, you know, every, see everything that's been killed here. It's not the Hooked Horrors that killed it. It's this thing. That's why these... So, the bl I mean, the blood and everything, you're talking about all the way over here? Yeah, yeah. Everyone comes to see this tree and get the Susser Bark, and this thing kills them. That's why it's here. It's its hunting grounds. That's what I think. Okay. So, in other words, I've, I could probably safely run quite some distance, and we're still going to be within the range of this thing, probably. Well, we'll probably come back. Try to get I, up, up the, up the knotted roots I, if you can. I mean, I, well, I absolutely can. I just thought that maybe you wanted to position yourself in a like a sniper position to shoot down. I think we both get up. We can always come down. I think we both get up, get some high All right. ground. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and come up the roots as well then. Because I don't want this thing to like dash and then borrow from underneath you, get you prone. Yeah, I mean, he probably, he probably is. Uh, he shouldn't be able to burrow up through tree branches. I he can think. throw rocks. I would think. Yeah, I don't think he can burrow up there, but he can throw rocks and push us off here. That's why I wanted to like break line of sight and hide. All right. Well, uh, do you have a preference as to just how much farther I go here? No, no. Okay, I'm just going to go to here then, and end my turn. Do it. Okay, it is out. It is. Bullet. Level five. Okay. Okay. We're not even in combat with it. We're not even in combat with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. So we are in turn-based mode, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna move well, my hand, like a little bit. Hang on. I could fly actually very close to it. I mean, you could probably move down here and shoot it. Yeah. And we could and surprise even, it. Maybe okay. surprise. It's legendary. It. Legendary. AC oh. 17, 162 HP, monstrosity, a bullet okay. is what it is. Legendary action, shredded, shredding scales. Once per turn, the bullet can spend the legendary action to use shredding scales after being hit if its diamond scales are active. Okay, let's read about what shredding scales is. Expel By the way, I can't, I can't see any of this because I'm, I'm not close enough to examine. Oh. Okay. If you click on my hand, maybe the camera will show you. I don't think so. Well, basically, it can do shredding scales, expel crystalline scales outward, possibly causing targets to bleed for two turns. On save, it's a dexterity save. 
targets still take half damage, but it, that's a three meter range for it. So you can only do that if we are within three meters. Okay, so we definitely want to kite it. Yeah, once per turn, the bullet can spend the legendary action to use shredding scales, which I just described, after being hit, if its diamond scales are active. Now, diamond scales are, this creature has 100 temporary hit points. While it has these temporary hit points, it is grounded. Any damage lower than 15 will not affect it. Oh, man. And it can wow. use shredding scales immediately after being hit for the first time in a round. Okay, yeah, this is slightly terrifying. Okay, hang on, Let, let's just it's, get... And, it, and it's only level 5? Yeah, grounded. It You cannot be moved by any external force, be it ma magical or mundane. Okay, so we can't we can't throw it off the off cliff. That's fine. Okay. This creature well, okay. has 100 temporary hit points where after it gets hit, it basically gets diamond scales. But we can yeah. get a couple of good sneak attacks on it, maybe even a surprise round, and then we could really like yeah. get half of his yeah. HP. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm definitely thinking we want to really try to get surprise on it because... Could we, we hit it with drought we, poison we, we, and put it to we, sleep? We have to just dish out a lot of damage really quickly. But I mean, not like none of my offhand attacks are going to do anything to it while it has that diamond scales ability, because yeah. I'm not going to do 15 points of damage with with that. The only thing that's going to do 15 points of damage are our sneak attacks. Yeah. But, okay. So here, anyway, here's the thing: we're going to have to leave this for the next episode. Ah, okay. This, okay. this is going to be a lengthy fight, and I don't have the time to uh, do it now. To do okay. It. We're we're coming up on an hour an anyway, hour. so. Okay. I. I think our, our successful fight against the Hook Horrors is leaving a nice, pleasant sense of accomplishment <laughs> for the first episode, and then we'll deal with the uh, the Bulet yeah. there. Yeah, and we'll and have time one. to think about it as well. Yeah, so yeah. It only, it's only going to get 100 uh, temporary hit points after we hit it the first time. Okay. Um, well, I'm we're not going to kill it in one shot, so, <laughs> so, we can so it doesn't really matter when he, when he gets it. Yeah, that's also true. But at least for the first few attacks, it doesn't ignore 15 damage. So we will, yeah, we yeah. need to think about how we can do a massive alpha strike. Yeah, this is, this is uh, definitely calls for concern. But we'll figure something out. We always do, right? Yeah, exactly. We'll be All fine. right. Okay, well, well I'm gonna have to leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Does this count? Does it so count? thanks everybody for watching. Yep. Leave, leaving you on a cliffhanger, but. That's, yeah. That's how it is. Hey. That's like, now they have no choice but to watch the next episode, Yeah, right? yeah. Everyone wait for right. episode 42. Anyway, thanks everyone All for right. watching. Yep, thanks. Bye. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.